how greenery cools and how to make a city green. There are more and more tropical days every year and staying in cities is becoming less and less bearable. Why do cities overheat in summer and what role does the lack of greenery play in this? And most importantly, what can be done about it? Green plants, especially mature bushy trees, are the best helpers in the fight against overheating of the city. Any such tree is priceless, especially on a hot day, for several reasons. A bushy tree provides good shade against the harsh sun. This prevents the pavements, roads and facades of nearby houses from becoming hot. In addition, green plants reflect some of the solar energy and use some for photosynthesis. This is the process by which the energy of light is converted into the energy of the chemical bonds that plants need for their nourishment and growth. The greenery also functions as a natural air conditioner. When water evaporates, heat is drawn out from the surroundings. A mature deciduous tree can evaporate up to 200 litres of water a day. This corresponds to the cooling capacity of five standard air conditioners. Making the city as green as possible and taking care of the existing greenery will help us battle the overheating of cities. It is essential to maintain mature trees. They provide us a great service in the hot summer because they can cool their surroundings in their current state. Neither a young tree nor a technical solution can replace them. Parks also play an important role in the city. They serve as places for people to cool down and relax during the summer heat. At the same time, they create colder air, which then penetrates the surrounding hot streets. Let's protect parks and expand them. Where possible, it's necessary to create space for more greenery, especially where there are a lot of people. Let's plant trees, shrubs, flower beds, meadow lawns, flower pots and creepers. There are many possibilities and each of them will do their bit in improving the climate in the city. When planting a tree, it's also necessary to ensure that there are suitable conditions for its further growth. The roots need a space similar to that of the crown, which is often a problem due to utility networks. The solution of underground networks will have to be adjusted in the future so that there is still room under the streets for tree roots. The fact that green plants cool down areas is something we definitely notice when we're close to buildings that have green roofs. Such roofs can retain water and, by its evaporation, improve the surrounding microclimate. The same applies to walls covered with creepers. Each of us can make a difference to how much greenery decorates our front gardens, balconies or courtyards. Major changes in public spaces must be arranged by local mayors and council members. The responsibility also lies with MPs who can amend the laws to make it easier to plant trees in cities rather than cut them down. Let's ask our representatives to deal with the problem of overheating in cities, to draft an adaptation strategy and to implement it so that the city doesn't burn.